speaking of love, in you're obviously very much known as an eschatological theologian, and uh, in in our context, it sometimes seems to me that both liberals and conservatives uh, have a kind of a negative view of the end, the end times, Jesus' return. For liberals, it's more of like, you know, well, our churches are shrinking and society's getting more banal and we're wringing our hands at things getting worse. And for more conservative readings of the Bible, it's when Jesus comes back, I mean, it, there's, there's going to be a shitstorm. Like, things are going to get really bad when Jesus comes back. And it seems to me that it was good news, it was good news when Jesus came the first time. It's going to be good news when Jesus comes the next time. But this is not the overwhelming consensus of what Jesus' return, what the parousia will mean for us. Yeah, unfortunately not. Uh, if there is a new creation, a new heaven, and a new earth, there will be a new song. And this is not the end. This is the beginning of the true creation. The, the new creation will be the eternal creation, world without end. Uh, so we, we must look forward, not to the end, but to the beginning. Uh, the beginning is not behind us, it's before us. Uh, so the, the best is still to come. <laughs> but this is perhaps true to uh, a certain type of dispensationalism, which is not a Christian idea. No. Uh, no. It is the, the old uh, Jewish idea that God created the world in seven days, so the world history will follow seven uh, dispensations. And uh, with every dispensation, the, church, the world will grow older and older. And the time, our time is running out. And uh, it's uh, coming shorter and shorter to the end. Uh, the, you can think about this without mentioning Christ. Christ had just one part in it uh, between dispensation five and six or six and seven. Uh, uh, so uh, what, uh, what is lacking is the new beginning which we experience in the resurrection of Christ. There is already a new beginning inside of world history. And this is a resurrection of Christ, an anticipation of the general resurrection and the new creation. And we experience ourselves being in Christ a new creature. Hmm. So uh, the new has already begun, or the future of God is not far away or very short. It's uh, already beginning with the coming of Christ and with the resurrection of Christ. Uh, so. Even if you read the prophets, prophet Isaiah, don't remember the things of old. See, behold, I create a new thing. So old and new is uh, other categories of God's working in world history, not one dispensation after another mm -hmm. until we are through uh, with these dispensations. Mm 